Hello folks, I'm OwnSpack33, and welcome back to the Pokemon Trading Card Game, which is part 22. On the last part, we got all of the Master Medals of the game, we defeated Murray, and we got the Psychic Medal, which is the final one that we got. You can get them in any order, uh, but I believe in order to fight Murray, you need six of the medals, so it's probably going to be one of the last ones you get, either the seventh or eighth. I don't know if you need six, you might need a little less than that, but you need a few. Anyway, we talked to this guy here, so I do defeated Murray. So he's going to give us a Mewtwo card, which is exactly like the other one that we've seen. Uh, but it just looks different. I can't remember what this one came with. I have... I'm pretty sure I have this promotional card. Like, I'm trying to think of like what this actually came with. Um, back when it was released. But I can't... I can't seem to put my finger on it. I don't... I don't quite know. Uh, but I, I... Like, I know this one. This came with the movie. But... Like, the Pokemon first movie. I don't remember what one this came with. It's gonna bug me, but it's the exact same card. It's kind of lame that they put them both in. But there's a couple cards like that. A couple promotional we haven't seen yet. There's a lot we haven't seen yet. We only have 6 of 18. Like I said, a lot of them are gotten through the challenge hall and trading with it Ishihara uh, at his house. But I don't have the card he wants. He wants a Clefable, which I don't have. Uh, speaking of which, uh, let's go check out our email. Uh, Dr. Mason has got some uh, email for us to read here. Alright, any closer to inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards? Uh, Murray... Uh, what? Okay, never mind. Here's uh, here's information on on Murray's deck. Apparently, it was supposed to use Alakazam uh, to basically stall us longer, uh, but I didn't allow it to happen. <laughs> uh, but we get a laboratory card here, and that's going to get us a Mock Suite, another Mock. That's not bad. I'm one step closer to making that... Uh, a muck deck. Uh, although I have more mucks than I have Grimers now, which is kind of stupid. Alright, and then mail number 12. This is uh, where we're, he's finally going to tell us about the Grand Masters of the game, which we're going to be taking on in the next part. But the Grand Master, uh, Courtney, she uses uh, Legendary Moltres, so her deck is Fire Pokemon. Alright, I'm going to watch how your opponent plays. He doesn't really know. So here's a booster pack, Coliseum. Ooh, Electabuzz. We had this once upon a time. I got rid of it. I got the other Electabuzz for it, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Another Professor Oak, which is pretty useless at this point. I only really put one in my deck. For, uh, for the most part. Uh, the last uh, emails that we're going to get are all from the Grand Masters, like their strategies. The thing is, you're not going to get the email until you actually are about to duel them. And you can't leave. So either you beat the game, and then you get to get all those cards after and their strategy. Or you lose, and then you get to talk to Dr. Mason about their strategy. So it's pretty stupid. Um, but we still have one more opponent back in Mason Laboratory here that we haven't taken on. Uh, Dr. Mason, no. I thought he might uh, tell you something if he had all the medals. Uh, well, we've taught, we've fought this guy before. Here, let's, let's put it in the last medal anyway. Alright, and there we go. We've built all of the, uh, all the decks now. Uh, strange Psy Shocks. This is what we use against us. I was pretty accurate in my description. I don't know if you've noticed up until this point, but every description has a kind of a little detailed info about what I saw that the opponent used and what I believe their deck is used for. Um, but the last opponent we haven't fought is Tech Aaron, which we fought twice actually. But he has three different decks. So I'm going to fight against the last one I haven't fought yet, which is Water and Fighting. And I kind of forgot to show off what kind of deck I'm using today. This is the Forgotten deck. Uh, this one is actually, I made this up. This is my own creation. There were like some things, I could, uh, some decks I could have used. That Grimer one still, but I don't have the Grimers for it yet. But anyway, the Forgotten deck is basically made up of Pokemon that I haven't really used yet. So we got the Weedle set in here. The reason I haven't used all these guys is I don't really have like a lot of their cards. I, I can use Ekans and Arbok now. Uh, but so like this is a pretty much a poison deck. Uh, even Tentacruel can poison, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I haven't really used these guys. I'm pretty sure I've used Kingler and maybe Jolteon. I know I've used Eevee. Um, but yeah, I got Pokemon Breeder in there just in case uh, to give uh, Weedle another chance to evolve into Beedrill. But yeah. Uh, trainers. Now there's a lot of trainers I haven't used, which I guess I could go over. <laughs> I've, I've pretty much went over most of the trainers as I've gotten them. And, and we've seen our opponents use them uh, for most of the game. Let's, let's fight the water and fighting deck here. Tech Aaron, final duel. You don't get anything for uh, defeating all of his decks. You should. That would be cool. 
If I would have made the game, I would have. You got a promotional card if you defeated all three of his decks. Maybe, maybe the uh, the trainer. There's a trainer promotional. The I talked about this. The super energy retrieval. I might talk about that in stream. I don't. I don't quite remember. Anyway, let's let's play uh, Tentacool to start. And we got Krabby. All right. Hopefully, we get heads. Nope. We go second. So his is water and fighting. So he's got Poliwag. Poliwag is a good uh, guy for us to fight because he's weak to grass, which is uh, part of our deck, but we don't have any of that right now. A lot of water going on, so that might be the theme of to this part right here. What else has he got on his bench? He's got Goldeen, Sandshrew, and Rhyhorn. Okay, so by the looks of it, it's a pretty stall heavy deck then, because Lear from Rhyhorn is, and a lot of hit points, of course, and Sandshrew with Sand Attack. So maybe a stall, maybe mainly a stall deck. Um, I could build up Tentacool, but I, I guess I should build up Krabby. Uh, I'm gonna go over... Ooh, he could kill me the next turn. <laughs> I never thought about that. He plays another Water Energy down. Oh, Alright, let's show off Let's show off Tentacool's Pokemon power. Um, what this does, Cowardice, is it just returns Tentacool to your hand. And you discard anything attached to it. Now, and apparently you can't play it um, the turn it was played. Interesting, I didn't know that. Can I just retreat him out? Yeah, he has a free retreat cost, okay. That's interesting. Anyway, let's use Call for Family and get another Krabby on our deck. Oh, Beedrill was pretty close to the top there. Anyway, where's Krabby? There we go. I need a, I need a reshuffle here. That wasn't looking too good, uh, what I had there. Oh great, Poliwhirl. This could be a short duel for me. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Oh, I can't use Call for Family next turn. That's Amnesia. That's an attack we haven't uh, really seen. Uh, it's not unique to Poliwhirl. Someone else has it too. I can't remember who. I think it's Slowpoke. You might have that. But yeah, the, uh, Amnesia prevents you from using attack. If you have one attack, uh, you, you can't attack next turn, which would suck. And then Double Slap can do big damage. 60 damage. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to <laughs> build up something here. I, I kind of want to get uh, Tentacruel on the go, but I don't have one. Okay, I'm going to use that Pokemon power now. Uh, for no other reason than just healing Tentacruel. Or, ten yeah, Tentacruel. I was about to say Tentacruel. I can't use Call for Family, it's just end my turn. I'm going to keep using Amnesia. Probably, probably it's, it's a smart idea. See what we got here. Beedrill. Yeah. Huh. What was the point of me even shuffling my deck? Beedrill is already at the top there anyway. So if I got if I got Weedle, I could actually get Beedrill in the next turn. That's not gonna happen. Anyway, let's use Iron Grip. Um, Tentacruel only needs two water energies to use Jellyfish Sting. It's a guaranteed poison move. So okay, he's gonna use Iron Grip now. Of course, that's a smart idea. Now I can't do damage to him. But I. I can build up Tentacruel, I guess. He's ready to go if I get Tentacruel. I can't use Iron Grip. I'm not gonna call for family again, that'd be dumb. I got, no I got another Krabby on, on board. Yeah, this is clearly a, uh, a stall deck. You got Amnesia here, I can't attack. You got Sandshrew, you got Rhyhorn. Definitely a stall deck. Alright, you got Ekans. Here, build up Ekans. Ekans was always pretty cool. I like it. I like Ekans. It's a solid poison type. I like in the game. It's just pure poison, which apparently isn't too good because Earthquake owns it up. But hey, all right, I'm gonna get Double Slap now. Oh well, he didn't get heads. He didn't get heads at all. Sweet. That means I can actually do damage to him now. He might uh, regret doing that. Let's build up our Ekans some more here. Now I can use Spit Poison or Rap. Sorry. Alright, I can take care of this Poliwhirl, unless he evolves. If he, has, he, he, he has a Poliwrath in his deck, that's guaranteed. Your opponents don't usually not have the evolutions of the Pokemon. They usually always do, if I'm not mistaken. Now, that could be a strategy on your part not to do that, but uh, your opponents, for the most part, always have that. And I think I'm going to use this uh, to get Beedrill. Like, I'm going to get Weedle. That sounds like a good idea. We'll get rid of uh, our Ekans here and Jolteon. I don't have Eevees, no point. Yeah, we'll get Beedrill on the go. See if we can't do that. 
So I got Pokemon Breeder in my hand, right? No. Why did I think I had Pokemon Breeder? I'm so stupid. I just- Oh, I must have Pokemon Breeder. I should have gotten Tentacruel. That was a very dumb decision right there. I should have gotten Kingler or Tentacruel or something like that. Oh, there's Kingler. Let's speak of the devil. Not bad. I just need another energy now. I just wasted it on, uh... Oh, I'm gonna die here. Never mind. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, if I would've gotten... Oh, no, I'm alive. Okay. Ooh, I don't even have to use another energy, because I can use Flail. Flail will do more damage uh, than, than Crab Hammer will. Alright, not bad. Uh, let's build up another Krabby, I guess. Yeah, we'll do this Flail. We'll do, uh... Oh, no, it'll do equal damage to the Crab Hammer. Yeah. So no point in putting another energy on him. He's already really hurt as it is. So he's fighting energy. Oh, crap. That's all his deck pretty much is at this point. He had that one polywag, uh, but that's about it. Yeah, you s slash. Alright. Can I look at the field? I thought you can. No? Not at all? Okay, I hit select. I was gonna say, I have to be able to look at the field. That's pretty stupid if I can't. Uh, so he has 30 hit points left. Yeah. Let's put Weedle out there then. Like, I know, obviously, I wanted <laughs> Weedle to evolve. And he could still, I could get lucky. We'll use Poison Sting. If I get heads, that'd be sweet. Alright. Weedle might be able to hang it in there. Oh, he's weak to grass. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. I could've just used Ekans then. That, that slipped my mind a lot. Seal's not weak to grass, though. The only water Pokemon, I think, that's really actually weak to grass in this game is Poliwag. And I don't know why they chose that over any... Like, they could've made it lightning. It's kind of weird. Now, I could use Professor Oak, but that would mean getting rid of that Beedrill. And I don't see a need to right now. Ooh, we got Arbok. Not bad. Why well, need another energy for Poison Fang? Where's that Terror... Fa terror Strike? Okay. Flip a coin, if heads, choose one of them, and switches it with the defending. Okay, so it's basically just like Whirlwind, but it's a flip a coin effect. And Poison Fang's a guaranteed poison. So Arbok's not bad. I'm not really in a dangerous spot right now, so I don't really need Professor Oak at the current moment. And the only thing I'd be getting rid of, well I'd be getting seven new cards of course, but the only thing I would be getting rid of uh, would be the, all those tentacles. So there's no real point to doing that. I know Bill. I know we get grass and gust of wind. I really want to show off that bee drill. It's not gonna happen. I shouldn't uh, hold on to that. What's uh, Weedle's retreat cost is one. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep Weedle in there. Just hope for the best at this point. That was that was a really bad idea, <laughs> getting that bead drill. Actually, not getting the bead drill, getting the Weedle. But then at this point, I wouldn't have felt an attachment to Weedle now, because I wouldn't have him. Yeah, that's not going to happen. He's going to die next turn. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. I could retreat him. I'm not going to do that. Um, let is Yeah, let's use Gust of Wind, I guess. We're pulling Goldeen. Because it's got nothing. It's got nothing going on. Now we'll use Professor Oak, I guess. Watch, I'll get like Kakuna and like Pokemon Breeder. No, a bunch of energies and Tentacruel. Sweet. That's good for me. I can evolve both of them if I want. Eh, why not? Boom. I've already played Energy's turn, yeah. Uh, double Colorless, that's for Jolteon pretty much. Not many of my Pokemon use Colorless. Just Poison Sting, hopefully get heads. There we go. Poison, as we've found out, is awful to deal with. Like, really, you don't want to deal with Poison. It's a, it's a powerful status effect. Of course he retreated. Free retreat cost. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, but that doesn't matter at this point, because I got some powerful Pokemon to go now. I got Arbok built up, and I got Tentacruel built up. I'm going to have t two Tentacruels built up here in a second. 
And I got Arbok with guaranteed poison and 20 damage, which is deadly. Anything guaranteeing poison and doing more than 10 damage is a very deadly attack. That's what makes Toxic so effective, and the fact that it does 20 damage is insane. And he's gonna use Horn Attack, which is not good for me. Because that's going to hurt. That's like 30 damage attack. Yep, no, uh, no, no uh, conditions or anything, just 30 damage. Look, Kakuna. Look at that, Kakuna. So I wouldn't have seen him for a, a long time. It's a good thing I didn't hold on to that. Alright, so I got... So they can do Jellyfish thing now, right? Yeah. Which is guaranteed poison. Lots of poison going on in this deck. I just gotta hold on, really. What's the retreat cost? Two for Arbok? Okay, so Arbok should... He's gonna bite the dust. I won't hold on to him. Oh, and he's weak to grass, too. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, so he's done. I think I got this. I think I do. Oh, full heal. That's smart. He's not gonna survive next turn, though, from Tentacruel. Because Tentacruel will do 10 damage, plus poison. This is a long part. This is a long duel, too. Tech Aaron is giving me a run for my money here. This is this has been a very long duel. There's nothing I can really do. I can I guess put Grass Energy on Krabby, so if I need to, I can fall back on Crab Hammer. Anyway, Jellyfish Sting. What? That's the animation for that? Wasn't it? It was weird. Should have been the uh, the Poison Sting's animation is. <laughs> Kuna. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, I should always pick the first prize. I never do. He's gonna use Star Freeze, which can paralyze. That's not good. Ooh, he might win this duel. I guess another paralyze. I can't do anything about it. I cannot do anything. This is not good. I think, te yeah, Tentacruel has free retreat cost, but I can't retreat. This Starmie might finish me. I can't do anything about this at all. I have another Gust of Wind, I think. But that's that's what I, that's the best I can rely on if I get one. <laughs> Weedle. <laughs> oh, yeah, Weedle and Kakuna now. Yeah, I'm done. Tech Aaron. Good job. Oh well, I, I showed off all I would have gotten for beating this guy would have been energy cards anyway. I beat his other two decks, right? So I went two for one on Tech Aaron. Ugh, Tech Aaron. I just want to just keep calling him Tech Aaron. Yep, do you feel for your deck? Yeah, I did. Alright, so that is going to wrap this uh, part up. I'm going to show off some other stuff before I wrap the part up. Um, one of these guys are like, ooh, yeah, all the auto deck machines have been activated. Alright, so I don't think I've gone over this at all. I've been using this the entire Let's Play, but I haven't been showing you it. It's the deck save machine, and in here has been all of the decks, besides part 5 and 8, which I forgot to save, but if I had to, I'd go back to them. All the decks that you guys have uh, basically suggested throughout all these parts, they're all in here. I can make all of them. Uh, the little X with the dots means that I'd have to disassemble my current deck in order to make it. So, um, what I'm going to be getting at here, let's, let's save the one we just made, Forgotten. I also have my bonus decks down here. Uh, they're at the bottom. And I, I knew this wasn't going to run 58 parts or whatever, but I, I put them down here anyway. Uh, you can... Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> so these three decks here, uh, by the way, these are the uh, starter decks that you can start with. What am I missing? I, I can't build this. One Lapras and one, one Vaporeon. I have one of these. I guess I don't have two or something. Anyway, uh, maybe I don't have one of those. I don't think I do. Anyway, what I want you guys to do in this part is to choose your favorite deck that you have seen throughout the Let's Play. Uh, I can go over kind of what each of them are really fast. It might take a while, right? Why is this the scrambled deck? I don't remember why. Someone probably... I don't even remember why these decks are named the way they are. I know Grass Rocks was because of Shots Rocks and had Tangle in it. But yeah, I want you guys to... <laughs> I had two Earthbound theme decks in this? Really? Two? I kind of forgot about that, Brain Shock. I want you guys to vote on what decks you want to see, or just one deck, 
Hopefully I get a lot of comments about it. Uh, you want to see me take on the final opponents with. So no new deck ideas now. We've seen a lot of decks now. We've seen 20... I'm well, not 22 because I didn't... In part 1 and 2 I still used the Charmander and Friends deck. Uh, but I wanted to see you guys uh, give me an idea. Or not an idea. I want to see you guys vote for what uh, deck you want to see. I was wondering. This was Health's deck. I remember that. Firestone, Pure Fire. So what decks do you want to see me bring in? Just choose one. And then whatever has like the high... Whoa. <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words. Whatever has the highest amount of votes. I will be the decks that I bring in. As many as I can. I will try to make them all work. Uh, that I can. I'll try to have as many decks as I can to bring in. Hopefully not... At least two decks I'll bring in. But just vote for one. Uh, that may be the one that you happen to see used. I know I'm going through really fast, so you can just kind of see what types they are as I kind of go through it. What they kind of have, you can pause it where need be. Dragon Rage was a cool one, I remember. But anyway, uh, I've been OwnSpac33. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this series. It's coming to an end. We're going to take on the Pokemon Dome, which is uh, right at the end here. And... Um, I can't believe this is series is almost over. Pokemon Dome. Oh, that's Lightning Club. <laughs> Let's end this here. Pokemon Dome. Up next. It's those in search of legendary Pokemon cards. Defeat the masters of the eight clubs and obtain the eight medals. Once attained, defeat the Grandmaster here at the Pokemon Dome. Then you shall inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. I have been OdinSpack33. Next time, we take on the Grandmasters. Bye now.